Hi guys, this is Phone Press 15. Um, today's video is on the Palmer 80 uh, Glock 19. I built this probably about a year and a half ago. Um, but I built it before I had the channel, so I didn't get any range footage. Well, not range footage. Duh. I didn't. <laughs> anyway, I built it before I had the channel, so I didn't get any um, footage of me building it or anything. So sorry about that. But uh, this range footage I'm about to show you was about a month ago. Sorry for the delay for my channel. Sorry guys about that. Just life's got crazy. Anyway, so I've been built. Uh, I've been making some holsters for it too. Some outside the waistband holsters out of leather. So I think they're turning out pretty good. And I'd like to show you guys some. And if you'd like to buy some, I'd put some in the link. Uh, and I'll show you those holsters after the range footage, which is only going to be around two minutes and fifty seconds of shooting. Anyway, I've put thousands of rounds through my Palmer 80, it runs fine. Anyway, so let's head to the range. Palmer 80, it's um, my G19 I built. It has a Vortex Razor red dot on it. And this shot a lot and so we're gonna see how we do. And I wish I had a build video, this, but I built this before I had the channel, so let's go. God, that's some brass line in my hat. <laughs> Just getting my groove back with it. I haven't shot it probably about six months. Very sad, but pitiful. <laughs> but the red dot helps a lot. Like I'm good with open tights and red and with this red. But I just thought I'd try a red dot for once because I've always really shot with open sights. So. Red dot it's pretty much the same thing. If you know how to shoot with both of them, good. You're going to get about the same amount of group. Not really gonna have any difference. I don't know if you heard me, but it's... Shooters! Do not have in your gun. Do not reload. These are my holsters. These are the ones I've been making. They're outside the waistband. And, uh... One's black color and one's just natural, natural color. So they snap right in there, really nicely. They don't come out. And here's a natural leather. They both snap in there really nicely. Uh, so I've been making these for the past month or so, and they work just fine. Haven't had any problems with them, and so I decided why not try to sell some. So uh, I'll put a link down in the description and see if you guys would. Uh, like any of these and anyway we'll get right back to the review and for more information on it just click the link down in the description anyway let's get back to the tabletop review this is my Palmer 80 it's uh, the Glock 19 version uh, this gun has been safety checked but I'll do it again magazine is out chamber is empty and we are good to go so let's get started with this um, 
the grip angle is really nice. I love it. Um, it has a double undercut for your other, because your dominant hand always goes underneath, directly underneath the trigger guard, and then your other one comes over, usually come over your hand right here. So it kind of couples it in there. Now you have these accelerator lines. This is for your thumb to press down to help with recoil. I use them sometimes, they're okay. But it has the Picatinny rail, full Picatinny rail. That's really nice, it works really nicely. Um, yeah, I just really like it. Anyway, so the pros of this, you can get it pretty much in any color that you want for around 150. Uh, you take it to your home and you can, you get to build it, pretty much brand it, it's your own, you made it. You get to have that pride. <laughs> anyway, um, um, anyway, the reason why it's called P80 is because it's an 80% lower, so it's 80% finished, the frame is, so you can get it to your house, finish it, the rest of it, and you technically made this frame. Um, you do not have to get it registered. Um, I think in California and possibly New York, uh, you might have to get them registered, but besides that, I think all the other states in the U.S. have pretty much no restrictions on this. Anyway. They're awesome. Um, I got a, I'm running on this right now as a Vortex Razor Red Dot. As I said earlier in the range footage that you get about the same. Uh, that's because I've been only shooting this for with it for a couple months and I've been rotating my handguns back and forth with just shooting them just to put them all through their paces. So I haven't had a really, I haven't had a lot of time with this on it. Get a lot of practice right now. I'm probably getting around groups about the size of your fist with it, but I have a Swinson slide on this right now. That's been running fine. I got that for around 160 bucks. I have a American flag backplate on it, which has been running really good. <laughs> Just like the American flag puts a nice touch on it. Anyway, so let's uh, pull this apart. So this gun is safety checked. Mag uh, chamber's clear. Magazine's out of it so let's go so first to disassemble a glock you pull the trigger make sure you point it in a safe direction then you can either pull it back from here then pull down on the little tabs or you could press from the front right let me see if I can do this on camera like that and pull down so that's how I usually do it I usually do it from the back but because I don't like putting my hand in front of the barrel, but you can do it either way. Anyway, um, so let's pull out my spring. The spring's really stiff because it's, it's an OEM. I got an OEM barrel with it. So yeah, that's been running good. So that's what my slide looks like on the inside of it. It's been working pretty good. I got a flush ejector with it. Anyway, my opinion on the Palmer AD. If you haven't done it yet, it's definitely something to consider. It's just fun to put together. It's easy, simple. It's nice, relaxing work to do with it. Um, and the slides aren't, th uh, not the slides, the frames aren't that expensive for it. So I would just give it a go, even if it's like something that you built over a couple months. That's what I did. I just did a little bit here and there with it when I had money and stuff like that to put into it. So yeah. Overall, it runs really good. Haven't had any problems with it. I've shot over a thousand rounds out of it. Haven't had any jams, misfeeds, uh, double feeds, whatever. Haven't had no problems with it. It's ejected fine every time. Anyway, it has uh, it's just really nice. I just love the frames. It has the Picatinny rail and everything on it. it. Just makes it really, really hard to beat. Plus, you don't have to get them registered. Anyway, so. Another gun review down. We should do another one sometime. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and and I'll see you guys next time. So keep going and keep buying firearms. It's one thing that you don't ever have enough of. Anyway, Fallen Brush 15 out.